I guess before we even get to that, um, Cam is reading the book about what's called Happy Money. Happy Money. Um, yeah. And like you're kind of doing an example of like I'm sure the stuff he's been reading about like how your certain the money has energy, right? And you're spending the money on energy on good people, you know what I'm saying? Right. And trying and trying to do you have good intentions on the money, you know what I'm saying? Right, so, right. But, so basically, yeah. the book is about like the psychology of money, how your money could be smiling or your money could be sad, mm. and like how you could have happy money, you know? So. He's saying like the energy you put behind money and you think about mm -hmm. money is how you, you receive money. So if you think negative about money, you may not never receive it. Yeah. But if you think positively about it, you know, more will come to you in abundance. Mm -hmm. So this is a weird way of looking at it, but it's very interesting. I'm still at yeah. the beginning of it. So mm -hmm. like, like I tell people, I said I'm at a point in life where I don't love money. I don't hate money, but I respect money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, because as you said, you know, um, money takes on the energy of the one that possesses it, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and to be honest with you, I've come to also realize, man, when you ask people what they want to be in life, like, what do they want? They say rich. I want to be like when I ask people, yeah, I, was, yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, that's so vague. Like, what is what is rich to you? Oh, I want uh, millions of dollars. What's the number? Yeah. You know, like, like, to be honest with you, if you want to be real technical, um, you could find five cents. Yeah, you became rich. You, yeah, yeah. You, I mean, it's it's five cents richer than what yeah, you, yeah. you've come across. So I'm at the point, and I swear to you, and, I, and I'm not making this up. I could see a penny on the floor, and I still will pick it up, and I'll be like, God, thank you so much. I'm one, mm -hmm. I, I'm one, I'm one, you know, I'm one cent richer. Yeah. You know, because you got to move in the spirit of gratitude. Even if you are in your financial situation that you want to be in, you have to really. It's the Bible talks about a double-minded man, right? Mm -hmm. And I've always, I was kind of, I was always curious about that. What does it mean by being a double-minded man? And a double-minded man is almost like, it's, it's it, from my perspective of it was, you, you have your brain and you have your second brain, which is your feelings, your, mm -hmm. in your gut area. So when those two align, something happens. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So even though I didn't, ha before I even became what, as they would deem successful, mm -hmm. and, and you know, I guess in my own way, was I stopped letting what my reality was like what at the moment gotcha be like entertain my future to some degree mm -hmm. i just looked at it and i was just like i was like man you know what god thank you so much i'm you're gonna bless me with whatever amount that i put because i had this i started specifically putting titles on what it is that i'm, I'm mm -hmm. like, or amount and 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 not to sound like you know uh like being uh like falling just in love with God's hands, I still had like a vision, like as in God, you know, I, these are the things that I desire, you know, my heart. And I believe that, you know, mm -hmm. in, you know, my intentions behind it will um, manifest itself. Mm -hmm. Right. As I should, uh, as one would say. So um, once I started to feel mm -hmm. and think that I already had it, even mm -hmm. when I didn't have it, I swear to you within a three to six months span, I had it. Mm -hmm. And mind you, I've always wanted, but I've never really intention. I never willed it into like, my life. Really, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. So, and I think, and um, so I tried it again. I was yeah. like, "All right, God, like you know, Lord, thank you so much." Um, um, I visualized another number, mm -hmm. you know, and I was just like, "I was like, God, you know, help me out, make this happen, you know, whatever the case. I will do the work because faith without works is dead." So I put yeah. in the work, and guess what? I reached that number, you know. So I now it started to make sense to me what the double minded is. Is if you believe that you're successful. And you feel like you're successful in some weird way. I can't break scientifically break it yeah. down, but it has a way of manifesting itself. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know. So yeah, and this, so oh, that's what you yeah. would say the work is. Cause I know people listening and be like, "All right, what is the work exactly he did?" No, is but it? your work you gotta. You, I swear to you, you have to think it. You have to feel it. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's and it's it, it's it's just it, it's just what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, and you're feeling. You can't. You can't. You never ignore your gut feeling. It's almost like when you. You have a feeling something bad is going to happen, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you don't, and or or you've said something like, "I just said that." Yeah. Who's to say that the words, your, your words brought that in? You yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. You know, so you just we these are these are certain things that I'm still learning. Like I'm still for sure. Yeah, I'm still learning certain things, man. But that's why I'm very cautious with even with my words. Oh yeah, you gotta yeah. be. Oh, yeah. And that 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 shit carries weight. It, it, it oh, carries yeah. weight. But it here's all another. Comes back. And here's another thing: remove the word "trying" because yeah. I, I I I I've come to realize the the way god designed this world um you use the like due to how powerful your words are using the word trying will keep you in a trying situation mm -hmm. as opposed to you say i'm going to i'm going to yeah, I'm, yeah. you get what i'm saying so it's, it's and it's the almost psychology yeah the psychology and it's almost like you're tagging as if when moses when moses was uh when um when god was giving moses his pretty much the instructions to like free the children of israel mm -hmm. right um and moses was like well who should i say sent me 
and God said, I am. Mm -hmm. And when you look back at it, that is a very powerful statement because the word I am, due to who, you know, God being such a, um, you know, such a massive, powerful mm -hmm. being, I am, he could literally be everything. He could just go down the list, but it mm -hmm. all starts with the word I am. Mm -hmm. So I like, I, I, I wake so up in the morning. Chain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I am, exactly. There's, there's, it's a powerful word when you use those words together. Mm -hmm. I am. And to me, why it's so powerful, because I do believe like before I had everything, I, I kept saying, I am successful. Mm -hmm. I am mm -hmm. this and I am that. And I kept saying it every morning and then it happened. And, uh, well, I was about to say two two things because we were talking about uh, the money part. Money, money comes from 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 wisdom, right? Because even you know when you look at it in the Bible, and you know when when God went to Solomon and you know and he asked him what he wanted, you know he asked for just wisdom in order to. Because he was worried about leading his his army because he had never done it. And so he was like, I just want to be able to be a good leader. And because he was a good leader, uh, I mean, because that's what he asked for, God said, well, you will be the wealthiest man ever, you know, that mm -hmm. ever lived. And so it's interesting because when we start getting into alignment and we start like working on ourselves and working on our headspace, that's when more money comes. That's what happened during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. That's what, you know, and like the more you work, and, you know, because you working on like you know even with crypto and stocks you you getting information you learning you being becoming wise and so it's just interesting to see that it, it, it's not even about asking for mon more money it's about just asking for the wisdom in order to be able to attain you know those or be able to uh, to create a skill that you have or you know to work on a skill or create value which is very interesting and then today I was listening to Dr. Uh, Darius Daniels who I listened to a lot and he was like I think this, the sermon title was I Have a Headache. And it was talking about how he was like, a lot of the stuff that, that people see in the Bible, they're like, well, why would God keep them out of the promised land? Or why would God? And he was like, that that wasn't God. He was like, that was their head. That was, that was the reason why, you know, Moses didn't get to see the promised land because his head made him do something that he, you know, he yeah, wasn't. Yeah. even David, David was, you know, a man after God's own heart. So mm -hmm. God wants them to have everything, but because of his head, he ended up, you know, with Bathsheba and going down the road, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's literally everything is a, is a head problem, not, not a God problem. You know what I'm right, saying? God right. wants us to have everything, but because if I, we're not in the right head space or, or not in alignment, it just, you know, it won't happen with, so it's just, it's just interesting to me that, a lot of this stuff, a lot of problems that we call, is really on us. It really, it's not. It's, it, it, it is. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> it, it is. Um, um, it's like another thing too that I'm feeling is more so like what your what's your intentions of what you're praying about? Mm -hmm. Like my intentions at the end of the day, and I had, like I told you, I was I really had like a real heartfelt moment when I was talking to God. I was like, you know, my intention. Like I just wanted. to take care of my family. I just want to bless others. Like I, there's not nothing where I want to do anything in vanity. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. Uh, do I have my guilty pleasures in certain things? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. But to be honest with you, I could lose all these stuff and I, I really wouldn't care. Cause I'm not really, it just, it just, lose, a bit, lose it this way. I got you. I got you. Okay, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, show God what you really talking yeah, about. Show, yeah. <laughs> show how humble of a servant you are. Yo, yo, but yo, I got you. After, after, yeah. Transfer your crypto assets. <laughs> all this talk so, and show you? that you can get it back. What's right. that guy you say? All his stocks? <laughs> yeah, man, give, give them to me. <laughs> yo, but, but I think that's, I, I really honestly do believe, man, that really was what uh, plays a massive factor into a lot of things manifesting itself. Is For based sure. on your intention. Yeah, you know, especially I tell people, man, you know, God is in the business of people. So when your prayer is in reference to aligned to helping others, mm -hmm. you know, as well as you know, as they would consider um, enlarging the kingdom of God. Yeah. Um, then you know, uh, then I, I believe a lot of things will happen for you now mind you i'm speaking from my own personal experience so this is not yeah, something where it's like such a cliche talk like, like oh, a okay. formula yeah 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 yeah, mm. yeah not, mind you had i not experienced it, it would have been a different story but for this sure. is something that i i remember literally like I, I i still remember just me sitting sitting at home and i'm just like yo i have to change the way i think mm -hmm. i really i just have to you know and the moment i started changing the way i think 
then things started to like reveal itself to me. What 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 was the catalyst for it? Like, were you going through financial trouble? Were you going through just personal troubles? Or? No, I, I I think what it was is just like I just wanted I wanted to do more for my family. Like mm. I just wanted to mm -hmm. like I like you know and, and and one thing God does know and you guys know I just love my brothers. Like mm -hmm. I, I just mm -hmm. and I just love unity. I love anything with mm -hmm. you, but at the same time, everything comes with a cost. For sure, mm -hmm. you know, um, especially with the things that I was desiring that mm -hmm. I'm desiring um, to do. So that was like the catalyst moment. It was like, yo, if I want this thing to happen, I gotta have to change the way I think. Yeah, I don't care if your account is in you know my account was at whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. but at the end of the day, I personally came into a a mind, a state of mind where it's like, no, I'm gonna make this happen. 